virtually got all the parts now arrived for my uh, FLM hybrid chassis. All right, and I'm putting the uh, Hoboa uh, eight spider diff drive shaft diffs in there. Okay. Um, hopefully this will alleviate the uh, standard Traxxas joints, keep blowing apart. So as you can see, I've got the plastic ones in there. I put the Integi lock diffs in there just to uh, sort of tide me over from keep blowing the diffs because I got fed up with keep stripping it down and replacing it. So now these are taking a lot of work. They've taken out some boring to get the uh, the bearings in that are that's there to get these fitted in. Uh, quite a lot of shims to get this fitted up so it's nice and tight and locks nicely together. Uh, the standard bearings that you get with the diffs are 5 mil wide so they're 16 by 8 by 5s and they don't fit. So I've had to especially order some uh, 16 by 8 by 4s just so I can get the diffs locked up. As you can see these are uh, not sealed bearings, these are open so I have to seal them up as well. And also I had to order some... Uh, different bearings in here from the standard ones because the Traxxas ones and also the whole bar ones didn't fit so I've had to get these ones here um, they're a couple of quid from a bearing shop and uh, as you can see that's what they are so um, these ones I bought off of eBay second hand they slightly leak so I bought the, uh, the new rubber seals and stuff to go on them and I'm going to fill these up with um, 5,000 weight oil in the rear and the uh, 3,000 weight oil in the front. This one I've just put together here is in the rear. I'll stack that on there. As you can see, it closes up quite nicely now. Everything's sealed in nice. All I've got to do is uh, fill up these diffs with the oil just in these bolt holes here and then do it up. Okay. Filled up the uh, 5,000 weight oil in there. Um, just filled it up until it starts coming out the top of the bolts. Also, always leave sort of two bolts off so you've got one with the pressure going in and one for the pressure to come out and let all the air out of it. And it feels really nice and smooth now, um, very tight. And hopefully, it should hold together well. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill the insides of these with uh, grease just to keep everything well lubricated in there, it doesn't get too hot. And, uh, and then bolt it together and seal it up. Okay, so um, there you go. It's just got the three bolts in there that hold it together. As you can see, one, two, three. And um, that's all bolted together nicely now. So just give it a quick, quick twist to see how it spins. Okay, so there it is, there's the finished article, hybrid diff. And what I'm going to do is this is the rear one, so I've got the uh, RPM True Track system on here in black. I'm just going to build this up and then stick this to them. Um, also got the uh, FLM split pins, uh, various bolts and bits and bobs, and um, more fast lanes uh, pins in there. Hopefully, make this thing a little bit stronger. Okay, so um, just got one of the true track sides on there. Okay, so just build that up. Um, you know, it's when you put the uh, the pins through into the FLM hybrid diffs here. You've also got some uh, neat little locking nuts here that go underneath the skid plate. So you just screw in the locking nut there, a little grub screw, and um, that should hold it in nice and tight. Hopefully, not going to bend. Okay, so uh, I think the black and the chrome looks pretty cool. Let's get the rest of it together. Okay, so um, there it is. I've got one rear end fully built. Well, 90% fully built. So, um, you see it's got the uh, RPM strut brace in there. And the FLM hybrid chassis, um, sorry, um, diff case, and the RPM True Trek black, and also MIP 
8 mil drive shafts, it's the VD joints with the Trex 17 mil hex hubs. Um, so all I've got to do now is just put the uh, skid plate on the bottom here. I'm going to mount that on and then stick the um, T-bone racing wheelie bar bash plate on. Um, this thing here has uh, really held up well, well surprised of it and uh, well worth buying definitely. So check out tboneracing.com Okay, so um, there's a the T-Max with the old rear end taken off, that's about all that's left from the old parts and uh, let's get on and do the front Okay, so um, the back one's on now. See, it's on now, and um, just gonna start working on the front one now. So, that's the 8 Spider diff sitting in one side of the FLM hybrid. But on the opposite side, um, they put for the Traxxas um, diffs in there, a smaller case bearing. So, if you want to put the uh, 16 mil by 8 by 5s in there, which are the standard Hoboa bearings. They don't quite fit. So what I've got to do, so I've just got to drill it out with a, a boring drill bit. And see I've marked it up there on the black, that's as far as I want to take it, because the one just below that is the 16mm. So I'm uh, just going to drill this out a little bit, mill out a tiny bit in the middle, and be very careful so I don't go too far. And then I should be able to get the 4mm bearings in. Okay, so um, see that's been milled out in there now. So it should take a 16mm bearing. Just try that in there. That's it. And it seems to have gone in there nicely. So now um, yeah, I've just got to rebuild the diff, put on the new seal, and um, fill it full of uh, 300 weight oil, which is over here. 3000 weight. And crack on. Okay, so um, there's the eight, eight spider diff. Just get it in focus here. And all the uh, internals of the hobo diff broken out. So I'll uh, just put it back together again now. Okay, so uh, that's now the front one. Looking pretty sweet in there. Just got to put the uh, RPM knuckles on. I've got here nice new ones, and um, just got the RPM strut brace in there for the uh, centre, and then the RPM bumper will be going on there. It's a bit bashed, but bashed the better. And then we get this thing on. So it's, uh, it's quite a tidy, neat unit. Let's get the skid plate on under there. And uh, so far, I think this is taking me around about nearly seven hours for the two front diffs and the total builds. So quite a while, getting quite tired now, but um got to finish this off. It's now 2 a.m. in the morning, and I'll keep going until it's done. Okay, so here it is. It's all put back together. Can't really see much of the hybrid chassis, the hybrid uh, diff cases in there, but let's flip it over. Let's see, I've just got the small wheels on there, so blasting around the street. There's the hybrids, it's looking pretty cool. I've used um, stainless steel bolts as well, everywhere I can. You can see them in there. So, getting fed up with all the uh, standard stock ones, the alloy, getting all meshed up. And there it is. So I'll wait until the morning and I'll take it for a test drive.